Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubecho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a Chetatorial. Slovakia's Prime Minister Robert Fico was shot multiple times after an off-site government meeting, leaving him in a life-threatening condition. The assailant was detained, sparking national shock. Fico, known for his controversial stance on Ukraine and ties to the Kremlin, faced mass protests in 2018 over corruption allegations. European leaders condemned the attack, highlighting its threat to democracy. In other news... Eight teenagers fell acutely ill after consuming marijuana edibles during a field trip to the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles. The Los Angeles Fire Department received a call around 2.30 p.m. and found the students with altered consciousness. Paramedics transported them to nearby hospitals in fair condition. The incident occurred despite chaperones present. The Tar Pits management stated the sickness was from substances ingested separately from their visit. Dontai Akeem Prophet, principal of Destiny Leadership Academy in Ocala, Florida, was arrested for aggravated child abuse and false imprisonment. Surveillance footage revealed Prophet physically assaulting and restraining a student under 13 for over an hour, including using a chokehold and striking with a charging cable. Despite claiming it was to prevent harm, evidence contradicted Prophet's assertion. Investigation into the incident's cause continues. Consumer prices increased by 3.4% in April compared to a year earlier, slightly easing from the previous month. This data aligns with economists' expectations, providing a favorable sign for the Federal Reserve in its fight against inflation. Despite the slowdown, core inflation remains at 3.6%. The Fed, led by Chair Jerome Powell, has opted to maintain high interest rates to counter persistent inflation, while economic indicators suggest a slowdown in growth. In other news... A pioneering blood test assesses preeclampsia risk in the first trimester, a groundbreaking approach unveiled by LabCorp. Despite skepticism from some experts, it offers early detection, potentially saving lives. With racial disparities in preeclampsia rates addressed, this innovation aims to revolutionize prenatal care, though challenges like accessibility and false positives remain. Eleni Tsigas, CEO of the Preeclampsia Foundation, emphasizes equitable access for all pregnant individuals. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.